Schwarzenegger in there. Then it's you know, the big Kaku. They're, they're known as the ball leaders. Mm -hmm. Same a little jealous. Niger catfish. Oliver Schwarzenegger, there you go. What the Dan with Puts Ponds and Gardens. We're down here in, where are we at? <laughs> uh, Strongsville, Ohio. Strongsville, Ohio. And we're here with Big Rich from... How you doing? From uh, Ohio Fish Rescue. Yes, so, Rich, can you tell me a little bit about what Ohio Fish Rescue is? How you got started in this? How I got started? Well, I liked big tanks. And the bigger tanks that I got, you know, it was a ooh-ah factor for me. I just love sitting in front of my tanks. But the bigger tanks I got, the more people around had known about it, and then word of mouth, people would, you know, start trying to give me their fish. And, you know, I got to the point where I didn't have enough tanks, so we ended up finding more, I'd go to auctions, and I ended up with some pretty big tanks. And then uh, someone told me, you know, why don't you just open a, a legit rescue, a 501c3, and you can really make a difference. And so we did that. And then I've been uh, buying tanks since, and you know, doing everything I can and building on the addition and we've become the Ohio Fish Rescue. And what we do now is we've kicked it up a step, we go around and we, we pick up any unwanted fish, any fish that are too big for your tanks, any fish that are too aggressive or are killing your fish, uh, stuff like that. We just give, there's not really a place you can take a fish like that. It grows two foot on you. The zoos and the aquariums used to take them. Now they won't because of bacterial diseases and infections and, and fungal diseases, all kinds of things. Um, so now they don't, so now there's no place to do. Well, a lot of people think, well, I'm doing a good thing. I'll go ahead and release them into the lake and, you know, have plenty of places to swim. Well, you're thinking about yourself and that fish. You think you're helping, but you're not. You're ruining the ecosystem, for one. Or two, the only the other thing that can happen is uh, winter comes around and the fish dies uh, because it's not made for this temperament and this coldness. So, um, you know, we, we come in there now to where we're the, the center between all the... Uh, zoos and aquariums and all the people that have too many big fish so we bring them in we find them homes we have a great big network of people all the way across the united states and canada and and uh you know they have big tanks and we try and help them out too but mostly we work with uh zoos and uh public aquariums especially public aquariums that are opening if anybody knows of any of them let me know um you know so so we get 20 25 paku they're too big uh 10 Red tail cats, 15 tiger shovel nose. When a new zoo opens up and they do a South American exhibit, I can really help them out and find a place for a bunch of fish. So uh, but that's, that's usually what we do here. And we've been taking in smaller fish, and then lately we've been taking in other things because of our network of knowing people. Um, we know where to take turtles and snakes, all that kind of stuff. So we've been taking in that kind of stuff too, and then we find them homes and take them to the right place they need to go. Um, even if it's an illegal breed, I talked to uh, a buddy of mine, uh, Dave, down at uh, Department of Agriculture. I'll call him, tell him, set it up ahead of time so it don't look like I'm trying to sneak an illegal breed here. And he'll tell me what to do with it, take it in for a day, take it to this place here. So anything you have that uh, you, you, can't, you can't take care of or, or whatever, you guys can bring it to us or call us and we can pick it up. That's what we do here. That's awesome. Uh, there's also another thing. If you have a family pet, that you've had for you know eight ten years whatever and you, you just can't take care of it because he's too big he's got a name you can bring him here and we can make him a lifer here in our tanks and you can come back and visit so that's one, one that's, of the nice things that's awesome so will this be will this be your largest tank that you've ever had <laughs> <laughs> this will be um it's fifty eight thousand gallons now but uh, we're going to fill it with some rocks and stuff like that uh so the actual water the gallonage might go down a little bit, but yes, this is going to be our South American uh, ecoscape, basically, and uh, we're going to have big Pima in here, big iridescent sharks, stuff like that. Um, we've thought long and hard about what fish to put in here. Can't have no stingrays because if you accidentally step on them, they're going to defend themselves and try and get you. 
Sure. So uh, there's going to be nothing in here that will bother you. And, and a lot of people are going to argue with me and say, well, Jeremy Wade got hurt with the uh, Arapaima. Well, that's true. But we're not going to be trying to catch an Arapaima in here. <laughs> we're just going to leave him alone. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So Rich, myself, a bunch of CACs, maybe even some volunteers, Greg Whitstock, the pond guy, Greg Blue, his right-hand man. We're going to... Greg Blue. What did I say? Greg. <laughs> Greg Blue. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey. You just combined them into one person. <laughs> hey, that works. Ed Ballou, Greg's right-hand man. We're going to put this together. So we're talking about doing an upflow biological filter. So we want to take this swimming pool and make it look a little bit more naturalistic. So we're going to start out by doing river rock, flagstone, and that type of stuff on the bottom. The bottom of the pool over there is 12 feet deep. We don't need it that deep. So what we're talking about doing is doing a sedimentation trap on the bottom, kind of creating a false bottom. We'd be discharging water down into the bottom. The water will spread out nice and evenly. And then we're going to flow it. It'll flow up through different layers of river rock. We'll have three different grades of river rock, which is going to be the home for the different beneficial bacteria and microbes. The water will return to the system. And that's it. We just do a big loop. So we're pumping in from one side, discharging on the other. And when it goes through there, we could basically, we can handle the waste. You won't be able to create enough waste in this pond from all your fish. Even if you load up a monster, monster, monster fish. Wow. And for this biological time. filter that we're going to put in there, yeah. <laughs> it'll, it'll, it'll definitely have So this is a system that Ed has developed over the years. We've put in thousands of times. It's comprised of a snorkel system, aqua blocks, uh, a canopy, so that the water will disperse and we'll be able to once a year drop the cleanup pump in and clean it out. And then it's going to both fish and human? Yes, absolutely. So we do a lot of recreation ponds where people are converting swimming pools into natural bodies of water that don't need to be treated with chemicals. It's working with Mother Nature instead of against her. Much more healthy than chlorine and everything else. Right. So not everybody's going to put fish in with them. This is going to be a dual purpose. You can swim with the fish, which we kind of like. You know, as awesome. guys, but whether you have the fish or not have the fish, creating a natural ecosystem water feature where a swimming pool will be used nearly as much as it's going to be viewable, visible, and enjoyable, 365. So you hear that, guys? We are converting this 50,000 gallon pool into a recreation pond. pond. Recreation pond. An aquascape ecosystem recreation pond. And I think the perfect way to end this video is push, push, hit. Oh! oh! You know, this is my 28th year running Aquascape. This is literally a dream come true. How many times have any of you, who are also many hobbyists, dreamed of shrinking yourself down to, you know, you know, scuba Steve, you know, six inches and going in, going in, 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 in your uh, tank? Well, this you can literally be scuba Steve as a full-grown adult, especially with big, uh, big animals. So for me, literally, this is like a dream come true. I could barely sleep last night excited about this. It's fun to have certified Aquascape contractors. This is going to be a lot of work, but it's going to be a lot of fun, and it's going to be a labor of love, because at the end of this, when we get done, we're going to be able to all say that we created this. So, um, some uh, pumps and things like that, and then I think we're going to have to send somebody maybe over to Home Depot to grab some sandbags for us. So that'll be the first step. We'll start building all that stuff, laying everything out. i got a couple sketches over here so I can explain things a little bit more, if anybody needs a little bit more uh, understanding of it. And then we're going to start bringing in that crushed gravel. So it's that pile of the, uh, the, the limestone out there. So I'm going to start leveling this off to get rid of some of those slopes and things. So we literally had to haul in tons of gravel for this project. Base layers, coarser layers, of gravel all the way down to pea gravel for this project. Without the help of our tribe, the certified aquascape contractors, this project wouldn't have been possible. Hey, Tim. Oh,
Good, how are you? Good, how are you? You brought your little Sam. Hey Sam, how are you doing? Good. You know, that's my favorite name in the whole world. It is. All right, so what we've got here is the Aquascape Powerhead. And what this is going to do is it's going to move large volumes of water all the way across the surface of the, this back section of the, the pool. And it's going to push it over here to where it can grab it and then put it right through the filtration. So what we've got is one, two, three, and then we've got another one, four, over here. Now those are all going to push water from the bottom of the, the pool. And it's going to push it across there so that way it can be picked up through our pump on the other side and then put down through our gravel. It's going to be brought up through our gravel filtration. It's going to grab all those nitrates and, and put them right through the filtration system. Project here at the Ohio Fish Rescue. We're just getting ready to start. Everybody's getting all of our equipment ready. They're grabbing the aqua block. I'm going to walk through exactly what we're going to do today. First thing is we have to get rid of that slope. If you look down here on the bottom, this entire thing is kind of bowled out. It's kind of difficult to tell. But we have a flat part right in the bottom, then it kind of goes like that along the edges. We have three quarter inch crush. It's going to level everything out. Once we have that in place, we're going to be able to come in with a series of sandbags. We're going to lay those sandbags in place to create a trench. Inside of that trench, we'll be able to put our water distribution system, our aqua blocks. That's going to be our sedimentation trap. Right when you're we're waiting for the spillway to go. Oh, there awesome! Perfect timing! There we go. <laughs> <laughs> right. We can turn it up so we can see what the max is. We can turn it well, up. Looks like it's going to start coming over there. Oh, I like the filter here, yeah. too. A little bit. All right. Yeah. You know, Big Rich, welcome to the Aquascape family. Ah, I love the Aquascape family. You know what? If you want to see more of this stuff, I'm going to come back here. Really? Two weeks? Oh, well, at least four weeks. At the most, it could Okay, four weeks. Four weeks. Yeah. Where's the pond guy coming back here? Yeah. Yeah. We're at monsters. Woo! I love my job. And what's your people doing like this video? Right? Everybody, what should they do if they like this video? One, two, three. Like, comment, like, subscribe. subscribe. All right, good job, sir. Hey, thanks for watching. This was a really fun project. Make sure you tune back in in a couple weeks and we'll showcase the finished product. Thank you.